All right, now we're going to make nice lines in GIMP. So if you go to New Document, 8.5 by 11, and resolution is 72, and hit OK. This is a lower res document, therefore your stroke will be a lot steadier. Um, if you have higher resolution, you have to build up resolution because if you try to do it at 300 dots per inch, it's going to record all your mistakes that you made on the weekend drawing tablet. If you bump it a little bit, it's going to really show up at that resolution. So keep it low at first. Get your lines done, then up it. All right. So one thing, um, here's my ink. But my ink on the keyboard shortcuts, it doesn't have it hooked up correctly. So with this, what I want to do is go like this. And here's my ink. Increase ink blob size. Set ink blob size. So increase ink blob size. We're going to do this and we're going to use the bracket. Now the bracket is assigned to the brush tool. So what we're going to have to do is click on it and maybe use control bracket and decrease. So decrease the blob size. Control bracket. There we go. Now let's close that out. So now what we could do is go in here and see if that works. Control, and sure enough, it's raising and lowering my adjustment size. Good. I'm going to reset this thing back to normal. This is the default. And by default, we can go like that, and it's still a little jaggedy. Because really there's no drag to it. There's no weight to the line. So if you take on smooth stroke, and let's turn the weight all the way up. Well, at least maybe to right there. Now what you're going to have is the inability to make a shaky line. And that works for the, the actual paintbrush tool too. But you'll see this blob and then it goes to like a almost a little blob. So what if we wanted to have some style? We could. We can go down here to the brush tip size and turn it to this. And now we have this. Some stylized lines. And what you should do is just practice making lines. Practice making like little things, some strokes every once in a while, some different shading. And you can also use these. So let's say I have something like this. So what you think is going to make that type of line is definitely different. But this is a great way to make outlines around, around characters. Now if you tip them up at an angle, see, totally different. But you're going to get have to get the hang of it. You know, I can't just show you this because it correlates back to your artwork, your your style of artwork. You know, I can just show you the tools, but you have to get them to relate to your style of artwork. Now, another thing is, uh, so the quality here. You'll see that when I do it, it drags. I have delete on, so basically make a selection around your document, go back to the ink, and this will quickly allow you to delete out anything that you that you make a mistake on. There's no mistakes right now, but if you want to try out a line, this is a great way to do it. So it feels like there's a lot more drag on the weight and with the quality up. If you turn this all the way up, there's going to be such amount of drag 
that it's almost a delayed reaction. You could feel it. See how it's it's chasing the cursor at this point. But again, if you're if you're drawing around a form, you know, you can get some really nice art that way. fun. So that's the ink and that's how you use it. So enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.